Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for August 25th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This pair finally broke above previous uh, resistance. We are looking for that to continue. Look for it to potentially go as high as 78.02, possibly as low as 76.44. Look for some resistance around 77.75 and look for some support around 76.75. Now the Euro USD pair, this pair closed down, moving sideways overall. Look for it to potentially go as high as 145.52, possibly as low as 142.16. Look for some resistance around 144.75 and look for some support around 143.25. Now the pound US dollar pair, it closed down uh, overall long term moving sideways is heading down short term look for it to potentially go as high as 164.63 possibly as low as 161.41 look for some resistance around 163.50 and look for some support around 162.25 now the US Swiss this pair uh, closed down continuing to consolidate look for it to potentially go as high as 08041 possibly as low as 07827. Look for some resistance around 07995 and look for some support around 07850. Now as far as news announcements go, we have the pound releasing their gross domestic product for the second quarter at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, it's showing that uh, previous is the same as forecast at 0.2%. Year to date, they're showing uh, that it's held as well at 0.7%. We also have the U.S. gross domestic product being released at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, consensus on that is that it's uh, held at 2.3% for the second quarter uh, for the year down from 1.3% to 1.1%. We also have at 9.55 uh, AM Eastern Time, the U.S. University of Michigan's confidence report being released for August. Consensus on that is that it has moved higher from 54.9 to 56. And at 10 AM Eastern Time, we have Bernanke speaking, uh, at his giving his speech at Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Now, what am I looking for during this next session as we go into the final session of the week? Well, we have this strong dip, it's moved higher, and we are starting to consolidate or have been consolidating down. Um, and I am definitely looking for a breakout. Some people call these flags. Uh, it's basically the market consolidating down. We should get a breakout. Uh, and if we do, potentially, where could it go? To the upside, we have this area of consolidation that, uh, that we're at, so we'd want to see Definitely want to see it break above that area and see it go a little bit higher. Uh, to the downside, we have this area of consolidation and kind of the lows that we can tag along the way. We have several areas of support uh, around the 0.7821 mark. So let me zoom in, get a better idea of what that looks like. These overall are just uh, quick little scalps. Uh, for the most part looking to grab about 71 on that one I guess that's a little bit better than a scalp and to the downside here about 82 so that is what I'm looking for either a breakout to the upside or the downside hopefully we'll get some strength in one direction or the other most likely uh, to the upside well that about wraps it up for today until next time this is Jason Fielder good trading